Hey guys, what's up? This is the uh, sixth tutorial on the series, and welcome to that. So I'll be talking about uh, grid uh, tiles in this uh, Bulma CSS framework tutorial, and it's pretty important. And also make sure that you uh, understand this very um, well because uh, tiles are a bit uh, confusing concept. And uh, even I, when I, it, it was a good learning curve for me when I was uh, trying to work with tiles. So I want to simplify it for anyone uh, who is learning further ahead. So I think that this is one of uh, the very most important uh, videos in this series. So anyways, uh, so let's get started. Before that, you can go ahead and you can probably open up your uh, Sublime text editor or any other text editor so that you can uh, work around with it. Or else you can after the video, you can play around with the options and uh, try to experiment it. But I would highly uh, suggest that you definitely do uh, work with it or else uh, it, it will just fly out of your mind uh, so let's get uh, started so grids are nothing but uh, so sorry the grid elements are nothing but the, uh, the tiles which are uh, visible on uh, a lot of uh, devices these days so tiles are nothing but uh, you can see on windows tiles as well so tiles are like uh, uh, a representation of various uh, rectangular elements so you can uh, design them as you wish and you can uh, you can also display information as well as you can display various buttons and elements inside the, them as you wish so uh, these are pretty simple but uh, for learning uh, how to build them is about uh, using Bulma is about a bit uh, tricky but once you master that you will be uh, able to see that if you can uh, right away make a lot of uh, websites with tiles and all that with uh, a lot of tiles that is so uh, in, in the other frameworks I've never seen a tiling option much but uh, we, have, we have a very good option so let's get started with the coding I'll explain uh, how it works over here before coding I'll also uh, give a demonstration in a, in a uh, MS Paint uh, document that I've just uh, drawn so I'll just uh, head over to that okay as you can see over here we have one two three four five elements so these are uh, forming the tiles so other than the fact that they are surrounded with uh, shabby uh, lines which are black and rose in color uh, other than that uh, these are actually pretty good tiles that you can uh, use as buttons or you can display information as you wish so the purpose of this uh, video or uh, the purpose of this uh, paint as well the MS paint document is to make you understand how tiles work so in tiles uh, as soon as you start you have three uh, classes so let me go ahead to the uh, uh, coding over here we have something called uh, three con contextual uh, modifiers so, so they are uh, ancestor parent and child so you have an ancestor you have a parent and you have a child as well so you can have as many parents as you want you can also have as many children as you want and uh, ancestor is always one and an ancestor is uh, is a class that is given to a division element so i'll tell you quickly how that works so we here on the screen as you can see one and two form uh, one and two have a black box surrounding each of them and you can also see that there is a rose or a slightly pinkish uh, uh what do you call uh, the line of uh, surrounding uh, all these so over here what uh, what an ancestor is the rose line the uh, pinkish color is what is depicting the ancestor so this ancestor has two parents and parents are nothing but the black elements over here so over here you can uh, see that a black element has only one child so what I'm trying to say is that you have two parents and each parent has only one child uh, of its own so uh, two is a standalone uh, uh, what do you call uh, child of uh, the second parent so that is how it's working over here when we come down over here we see that there is another ancestor over here this in this group and then you see that there are again two parents uh, but in the in the first parent there are two children and in the second parent there is only one child so that's it guys that's uh, that's pretty much about how it works uh, in simplicity so uh, I'll also add to that you can have uh, something called ease vertical modifier so I'll talk about what that is right now so over here in the coding below you can see that uh, there's a div class uh, tile is ancestor tile is parent tile is child box and uh, other stuff so by the way box is a class that you can give in your uh, in your uh, Bulma CSS framework to uh, quickly define a box shape 
so go ahead and do that so if you do that you will get this kind of uh, uh, layout and these colors have been given as for these uh, uh, styling so I, I gave an inline styling so these are the two colors so over here as you can see that there are there are two separate uh, ancestors so one ancestor has these two parents and in these two parents there is a one child each and over here as you can see that there is another ancestor and in this ancestor you have one uh, two, pa two parents again and the first parent has two children while the second parent has only one child so that's how it's working over here so anyways uh, before, uh, uh, let, let's get ahead so over here as you can see uh, there is something called div class style is parent and uh, is vertical so when you give vert, uh, uh, is vertical class to the tile which also is called is parent what happens is that uh, the stacking happens in a vertical fashion instead of a horizontal fashion so as you can see over here uh, if I add something over here uh, to the child let's, let's add something over here uh, to the first one Alright, so as you can see over here, the stacking is happening horizontally. So you can see that uh, to the first parent, I have given two children, uh, while this second parent has only one child. So uh, the the two children are uh, are uh, getting stacked horizontally. So as you can see, this one full uh, parent has two children, but they are ha stacked horizontally. While coming over here, we have uh, uh, we have one parent over here, uh, one parent having two children, but they are stacked vertically so that is what uh, is happening in the code below and uh, as you can see there is a one uh, tile is parent and it has only one child so quickly I'll, I'll tell you I'll uh, tell you how you can start creating it so let's let's take this as a as a fresh document so uh, get onto your uh, text editor so that you can do this with me so let's get started so uh, what I would say is that let's say uh, we want to create a layout which is something like this and as of now uh, whatever I've shown on the code as well uh, the actual screen is something similar to this but nonetheless uh, if at all we want another uh, layout we can do uh, what we can do is that uh, I'll, I'll create a while on the go so you guys follow me up and you can see for yourself uh, what all, uh, we can do with this so let's say uh, we have one over here we'll retain the one but we will put uh, two children for this second uh, parent so this and the two children will be stacked vertically instead of horizontally so let's see how to do that all right guys so start coding away uh, along with me so first we have a division element uh, of course we call it is ancestor so is ancestor is the pretty much uh, very important over here and over here i'll also say div <coughs> and then to this div i'll give a class of is uh, let's say uh, is parent and also tile so uh, don't forget to mention that it's a tile and sometimes you don't have to give any of the east ancestor or east uh, uh, parent uh, class you can just give tile as in this example and you will be able to understand these things uh, once you keep uh, going further ahead because uh, sometimes you don't have to give east parent or east child east parent or east child is only given when you are uh, uh, giving the data when you are giving the uh, uh, when you are giving what uh, contains uh, what is the container actually containing so if at all uh, you are still working on the layout and you want complicated layouts then what you can do is that you can give e style e style and all that so sorry uh, you can give the tile class and without any kind of uh, tag of e parent or any of that so what you do after that is that uh, let's say we have given uh, div class e parent and let's say we also give a div uh, class of is uh, child and it's obviously a tile so let's uh, let's copy this. Uh, let's uh, see what happens. And of course, uh, don't forget to give uh, the box as well. So let's see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, we have a box over here. Uh, if I'm not pretty sure if you you can see the gray element over here. So let me uh, uh, give it a, a modifier. So as you can see uh, uh, in the list over here, uh, there are separate modifiers. I'll be talking about them uh, pretty soon. So we have spoke, we have talked about uh, I have talked about ancestor parent child and vertical. So these are pretty much intuitive. If you have seen the previous videos on uh, grid, you will be able to understand this as well. So we have is one and uh, until is twelve. So you can uh, uh, control the size as you wish. 
So apart from that, uh, let's see what happens right now if I give another parent over here. So let's say I give another parent. Let's say I'll copy this and I paste this again and let's refresh. All right. So as you can see, we see that there are two tiles in the same uh, ancestor, so it is getting stacked next to it and uh, next to each other. So the stacking uh, is uh, in general uh, horizontal over here. So if you want vertical stacking, you have to open up children and uh, you can do that uh, by the ease vertical tag. So again, uh, let me add another uh, tile. So let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, like uh, in grid columns, we have uh, equal uh, spacing over here. We can, uh, of course, tweak it. So let's say I want to tweak this. I want to say uh, the parent tile is about uh, is uh, four only. So let's see what happens. Or right, it's already four. So let's say it's two. Okay, so as you can see over here, uh, the size has decreased. So the size of the remaining tiles has increased, or so as to maintain some uniformity. So this is how the tiling works. So as you can see, you can add as many uh, parents as you want, and the parent uh, and all of these are not children but parents. So make sure that you understand the difference, well, and you understand what's going over, what's going further ahead over here. So one more thing uh, that uh, I'd like to mention is that you don't have to necessarily always uh, say that it's a parent. You can also give it a tile, as I was saying before. So you can say tile and inside the tile you can have another tile which is then a parent and all that. So such complicated ones I will be covering in the templating uh, 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 templating uh, videos. So I will be, I'll be, I'll be uh, creating a template uh, using uh, Bulma CSS so I will put that up and that in that we will be seeing uh, further ahead what all things to look forward to. And also what all uh, the style and how, how we can use this tiling and all, tile uh, and all that. So. Uh, essentially so this uh, this is the basic uh, stuff and so uh, let me get back to the uh, our design so what we want is that we want one but we also want in the second parent we want two uh, children stacked uh, on top of each other so we want vertical so let me remove the unnecessary uh, uh, parents over here the parents were for your demonstration uh, so uh, I'll remove this all right. So as you can see, we have two parents over here, and two there are two uh, uh, there are two uh, uh, parents. So inside uh, the parent, there are two children. I mean, one children each, one child each. So uh, right now, what I'll do is that I'll say uh, I'll, I'll only copy the child and I'll paste it. Let's see what happens. Okay. So as you can see over here, uh, you can clearly see that it has two children and it is filling up only in the uh, this space. So that is the difference guys, so if you uh, make sure that you are understanding this, this is pretty pretty important. So if at all I don't copy this but I copy the whole parent, what happens is that the size also gets uh, decreased uh, for the other elements. So if I do this, you can see that since there are three elements, all each each element is the same one. But if at all I don't do that but, um, okay let's say, alright so let me, uh, let me, let me clear this out. Alright, so so if at all I copy only the division that is the child division and paste it over here, we can see that it only gets copied in the uh, all right, uh, it's not alright guys, give me a, give me a minute. Uh, I just uh, missed a few things over here. Alright, so we have uh, two uh, parents over here. So in the second parent, I'm giving two children. So let's see what happens. So as as we were seeing before itself, uh, we have uh, the uh, the layout as this. Now, if at all I want uh, the stacking to happen in the vertical fashion, what I do is that to the parent element, I say it's vertical. So what happens is that as you can see clearly over here, we have the stacking of the information in the vertical fashion. So uh, as you can see over here, the tiling is uh, as required. We have it uh, uh, as we want. Anyways, uh, this uh, random text can be generated using Lipsum. So you can go ahead to the uh, website. I'll, I'll put up the link uh, down below as well. Uh, and you can generate any kind of text you want if you uh, if you want uh, f to experiment further ahead. So uh, closing the video, we uh, will also talk about. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll quickly show how you can uh, create this, uh, the remaining part of this. Uh, so it's simple. So you just have to say three, four, and five. So let's create three, four, and five quickly. 
So what you do is that uh, let's forget this for now. So what you do is that you create another ancestor. So you create an ancestor. Uh, you give the class as style, and you say it, it's an ancestor. All right. So as a, uh, after that, you say it's a it's it's a parent. So you give a give a parent class. So style is parent. And then let's copy the uh, same text again and again. Alright, so if I refresh this, you can see that it is uh, forming a good uh, 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 text. But what I have forgotten is I have forgotten to give a class of tile, is child, and also a box. So if I don't give a box, it always looks uh, pretty nasty. So that's something, and it's a problem. So if at all I remove the box, you can see that uh, we don't have any kind of grayish line and all that. So Bulma CSS provides you this. Uh, stuff before itself so as you can see we have uh, one uh, complete uh, uh, division element so uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you can uh, guess what what needs to be done next so since we need a two uh, sorry uh, since we need two parents let's first copy the parent and let's give the children later all right so we have two children over here sorry uh, two parents over here and then in the first uh, parent I'll give uh, two children so that we close the uh, whatever required project is alright so it is getting stacked horizontally so you know what to do what you need to do is that give it uh, is vertical uh, option so you can clearly see that now your tiles are done so that's it guys so as you can see we can fastly create whatever kind of tiles we want we can even put buttons in it and all that all that will be covered in the uh, templating i won't uh, focus on the uh, the whole uh, holistic one uh, right now itself so that's uh, that's about it so you can go ahead and also give a background color like uh, you know given over here you can it's pretty simple styling so you can do whatever you want and uh, further uh, as i was saying you can even uh, tweak the child's uh, uh, let's say it is 10 so what is happening over here is that it's not this 10 uh, it's not the 12 columns of the whole screen it's only the 12 columns of this parent element so if i say uh, 12 it will it will come to the maximum and the maximum is nothing but whatever we are seeing before so if at all i give it uh, is 6 uh, you might think that 6 uh, needs to be half the screen but it's not it's one fourth of the screen because it's already half the screen and it's half of half so it's becoming a uh, one fourth so that's how it works so you can uh, work around with the sizes as well you can uh, give whatever kind of size you want and you can uh, so uh, closing this uh, if, according to the documentation we have 16 modifiers in all so there are three contextual ones and that is ancestor parent or child and there's one uh, directional modifier which is vertical so if it is not vertical it will be horizontal by default and 12 horizontal size modifiers in all for uh, size so alright guys that's about it for this uh, tutorial I'll, I hope that you have learned uh, tiles uh, pretty properly because th they are pretty important and go around and uh, experiment on your text editors and your, uh, open up some server and if at all you don't have server or uh, local server you can do it uh, just like that and test out what is happening uh, uh, while you use this class and all that. Always keep experimenting and learning and I'll get back to you uh, soon on another video. Uh, so until then uh, subscribe to my channel watch my other videos and also share them with your friends alright guys thanks a lot for watching this is Rocket Area signing off bye bye